Hi, it's Lois here. Welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to paint another simple wet in wet sky. Um, and then doing a, a time lapse video to show how to paint the Eileen Donan Castle in Scotland. First of all, wet the paper all over and then just carefully put on a few streaks of raw sienna. Once that's on, load your brush with quite a lot of uh, Prussian blue and lamp black or Payne's Grey and be bold, put it carefully across the top in horizontal lines and bring it down and just let the water that's on the paper allow the paint to come down, maybe a few little streaks that will diffuse with the wet in wet. Most importantly now, leave it alone. Maybe tip it slightly to the side if it runs down too horizontally. But don't touch it after that because what you'll end up with is a really nice, gentle, diffused sky. Then use the same colour and put in a foreground that sort of mirrors the top of the wash, if you see what I mean. Just quite plain and simple. And then leave it, let it completely dry. Now I'm going to speed up the video and quickly show you what I then do with such a wash. I'm going to carefully draw in a sketch in pencil of the Eileen Donan Castle, the beautiful castle in Scotland. Um, and then I'm going to go over it with a fine liner pen and a brush pen just for the main detail and the darks. Um, so I'll be able to create a pen and wash painting in this way. With the complicated shapes of this castle, it's, it's, it's easier actually to do it as a pen and wash. Um, you've got your shapes already carefully drawn in, um, or roughly drawn in actually, and um, then when you put the paint on, it's a lot easier because you've got all the, all the indications, the clear indications of where you want the paint to be. And it's simply a matter of, of colouring in, so to speak. Um, and it can be quite an effective way of painting. Um, from some very light paint, um, Prussian blue and a bit of uh, raw si uh, burnt sienna for the background hills. And then some of the same colours, burnt sienna, raw sienna, Prussian blue and various mixes just carefully washed over the various areas of the buildings. And now for the reflections, wet the paint, the, the lake all over, then allow the colours to come down using a flat brush. And it's a very effective way of getting some reflections. You forgot to say, a clean damp brush carefully takes out some little white lines to make ripples. And just finishing it off, once it's dry, I'm adding a little bit more detail with the fine liner pen just to create the look that I want. Finally, some reflections in the, the left-hand side um, landmass. And I hope you like it. I hope you like the effect that we have here. And the thing that I wanted to show you here was how a very, very simple wet in wet sky that you just leave alone and don't fiddle with can actually give you a beautiful base to make quite a complex looking painting that's actually not too complicated at all to produce with a bit of practice. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you'll give it a go for yourself and um, let me know in the comments how you get on. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and um, click on the bell icon and you'll always get notifications. Thanks so much and goodbye. I'll see you soon.